A viral video of Quavo and Sweetie in an elevator fight proved to be the biggest news of the week. Beyonce and superstar couple Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello being victims of robbery in Los Angeles was also major news. Additionally, there was a viral April Fool's prank about Jay-Z releasing an album with Olamide, Star Cody, Femi Kuti and Nasty C. Welcome to Cydermex Universal's Trending Last Week video, where you get the hottest gist that happened during the past week. If you have not, kindly subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell icon to know when we drop our next cool video. It appears that the public exchange over their breakup is not the last we will hear of Quavo and Sweetie's relationship. As the embers sparked by the Migos member allegedly taking back his car gift died down, TMZ started another fire. The entertainment news outlet posted surveillance footage of the estranged love in an elevator fight over a Call of Duty box. In the video, which went viral within minutes, Quavo is seen shoving Sweetie and she appeared to be injured. However, the couple later commented that the video was from 2020 when they were still together. Quavo, on his part, denied ever assaulting Sweetie, while she also didn't point fingers and only called it a disagreement. Controversy trailed Burner Boy's homecoming concert in Port Harcourt City, River State, Nigeria. Critics called out the artist for what they perceived as faux patriotism when details emerged that he had received cash gifts and land from under fire River State Governor Niesom Wike. The singer had gotten a king's welcome as he returned to Nigeria for the first time since winning the Grammy Award for Best Global Music Album at the 2021 edition. But the dupulation soon turned sour as the artist, who many, including himself, have compared to the patriotic late fella Kuti, failed to meet expectations. Another April Fool's Day came, and you would expect people to be wiser from past experience. However, many fell for the prank that Nigerian music blog NotJustOK.com started. In a post, NotJustOK.com claimed that American hip-hop legend Jay-Z was releasing an album titled Ascension, which features African artists like Olamide, Sarkodi, Femi Kuti, and Nasty C. The prank came with complete artwork as well as track listing. It was obviously a prank because the news was circulated only in Nigeria and Ghana. Additionally, none of the artists alleged to be appearing on the album even posted anything about it. The most obvious reason was that the blog that started the rumour even said so at the tail end of the post. Mr. P of the now-defunct P-Square group released his debut solo album this past week titled The Prodigal. The album featured Nigerian upcoming artist Singa and other superstars like Tiwa Savage, Mohombi, Simi, Tenny, Tamar Braxton, DJ Switch, Ovi Kelv and One Day Call. You can listen to it and download the complete album on our website. Bella Shmurda, Nigerian Afrobeat sweetheart, also dropped a new song as well titled World. If the early hype around the song is anything to go by, it will soon be a chart-topping smashing hit single to vibe to. Speaking of music charts, Features by Justin Bieber, featuring Daniel Caesar and Give On, off his Justice album dominated music platform charts like Spotify and YouTube Music in the US. Meanwhile, in Nigeria, Naira Mali and Basiswa's Coming are the most popular songs of the week. We provide the complete chart on our blog and you can check them out after this video. Another trending song in the US this past week is Lil Nas's ex Montero. The song launched with a highly controversial video that featured visuals from hell. However, besides the beauty of the video, Video, depending on how you see devilish images, there is also a lawsuit tied to it. A New York-based company, MSCHF Product Studio, is selling the Satan shoes from the video and Nike is suing them for it because they are really just customized Nike Air Max 97 sneakers that contain red ink and the alleged human blood in their soles. Nike says that 665 shoes, which were sold out within minutes at $1,018 per pair, infringed on their copyright. It also caused significant confusion as the religious crowd believes the athletic shoe company had authorized the design and are calling to boycott the brand. Britney Spears revealed last week that the Framing Britney Spears documentary by New York Times made her cry for two weeks. Her response comes over a month after the 74 minutes video aired. It centers on the singer's career, her popularity within American culture, and provides insight into the conservatorship that she has been under since 2008. Godzilla vs Kong, one of the most anticipated films of 2021, finally debuted in US cinemas on Wednesday the 31st of March 2021, and it made a considerable 9.6 million on its opening day. It screened in 2,409 venues in the country. Before its 
US release, the film entered cinemas worldwide on the 24th of March 2021, one week earlier, and made $70 million in China in that period. Its total weekly earnings was a staggering $132.7 million, nearly the production budget of about $160 million, $200 million. Los Angeles burglars struck the property of Beyonce, Shawn Mendes, and Camila Cabello all in March of 2021. Reports claim that Beyonce had even been a victim twice in that duration, and that the burglars carted away expensive handbags and dresses worth about $1 million from her storage units. Meanwhile, couple Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello were at home when burglars attempted to enter their apartment. The sound of their window breaking alerted them, and they raised the alarm. The burglars then fled, but had enough presence of mind to grab Shawn Mendes Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon keys and drive away with the car. The Los Angeles police are still working on unraveling both burglary cases, but have not announced any arrests publicly. This is where we draw the curtains of this week's Trending Last Week episode. If you enjoyed this episode, like this video and share with your friends. Also, share your thoughts with us in our comment section below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting content and follow us on Instagram at Cydamex ENT and on Twitter at Cydamex.